What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dominaria draft here on uh, Yu-Gi-Oh.DuelMasters uh, Battle.net edition. And uh, what are we taking here? Not Sulphur Falls, because we don't open Lyra's or... We don't open any of the four new uh, white cards. New Karn from Dominaria is interesting. I wonder if we can put that in our blue-black deck that we played the other day. I say the other day because on YouTube, it's going to have come up the other day. Uh, I think this is probably better than this. So if we're going blue, we're probably taking this. But I think we're just taking this. I think we're just taking Spork Crown Talon. I go, I go blue way too frequently. Maybe that's a good though. Maybe I just want to win. Maybe I just want to win the game. I like Journey Mage a lot. I think I want to take Journey Mage. <laughs> pack one, pick one. Lyra seems pretty good. I wouldn't mind that. Mishra Self Replicator. That's pretty good. Divination. Blessed Light. I think Blessed Light's actually probably better than Mishra Self Replicator. I think Replicator is a little too grind, a little too uh, dirtily for the format. It's a very strong card if you can get it working, but I think Blessed Light is a little better. Yeah, I'm going to take Blessed Light here. Oh, another Journey Mage? Hmm, don't mind if I do. I hope this Precognition Field comes back. I don't think this is highly rated. I wish I got a drink before this and went to the bathroom. I don't know why I didn't do that. Do I do Island or Plains tier on pain? <laughs> um, that's up to you. I can't... I'm going to say do the more expensive one because you're you're supporting me, right? But seriously, whatever you want to whatever you want to do to support is, is totally up to you. I appreciate every little bit, guys. I would never I would never try to convince you to... to to contribute more than you feel is worth it or uh, more than you're comfortable. So that is totally up to you. Ew, you're skinny. Thank you so much even for just asking. I really appreciate it. Oh, we can do to Torgar. And that's pretty good. I'm probably just going to do Syncopate or Mesa Unicorn. Oh, God. This card's not good, right? Is it? I probably could reserve and go get a drink real quick. Actually, I got Mountain Dews in the fridge. I don't even have to like... I think you missed earlier when we'd be fixing the oversight on your Patreon. There is no... I will cut off my beard tier. Oh, uh, that's actually not an oversi oversight. I'm actually working on a... I'll actually burn my face in a fire tier. And uh, you guys get to... I'll get to record... We'll get to record the, the reconstructive surgery. And that'll be up. And you guys will have exclusive access to that video. So... Um, I like Unicorn too, actually. Unicorn's... A little underrated. Oh, another syncopate anyway. And a sergeant at arms. I like having counter spells. Yeah, it's included in that package because, you know, I'll be burning the beard off anyway, so it's kind of just works out. It's either sergeant at arms or syncopate. Oh, goodness gracious. I want to take the syncopate. I think we can get another sergeant, and there's probably going to be one in this pack. Are you ready? You ready for the sergeant? Do you usually draft or play modern, or what is your good? My I, my go to format is modern, or my uh, draft, and I will I will usually do at least one or two modern or standard streams during the week, for uh, for people who either want to, want me to critique their decks, or just because I found a cool deck and I need a I need YouTube videos for those formats because drafting is uh, pretty omnipresent on my channel so. Oh, this lets us splash something, but this lets us cast our Arc Academy Journey Mages earlier. I value this guy a lot higher because it's one of the very few blue wizards, and it also lets us... Uh... You cancel two different subscriptions, and the extra one is probably going to me? Man, that is a that is a sweet transfer of, of uh, a disposable income, if I do say so myself. It's either this or Isolated Chapel because of the splash. I'm going to take Vidalion... This guy's going to 100% go in our deck, especially with Blessed Light and Syncopate. So. I like Chapel because it lets us splash, and you guys know how I feel about multiple color decks, but I'm going to try to stick to two colors this time. God, this is like the fourth Syncopate we've seen. We could have had a Sergeant at Arms and two other Syncopates.
I think it's just Syncope. We can probably get another Arcane Flight. I think Syncope is the more valuable card. I'm going to take this wall, actually. Because I'm not going to be playing Opt. That was a late Animist anim Animal. Blue White's still the strongest archetype. I think the good blue white decks are definitely some of the stronger decks. Um, I also think some of the black, black green sapling decks are very good if you can get like Thalid Omnivores and uh, Spore um, Sprout, Spore Sprout, and like lots of migrations and silver and slime feet and whatever. You and Jim Davis are the only two people I watch online from DG. So just, I do. Uh, Jim Jim is a great guy. So you know, you do what you got to do. Ew, you're skinny. You do what you got to do, buddy. Well, I don't like opt because we can't. You can't really filter out the land flood with with opt because um you drew an opt instead of a different card, right? So i enjoy you more whereas i probably learned more from oh how rude dude that is rude i'm oh one lifetime against jim davis actually so that's unfortunate the precognition field came back i actually like that a lot i'll probably play this i played it once it was reasonable i i i got a free spell off the top and uh we didn't actually exile anything, but I like I like that it can. Chain whirler, never open in money. Chain whirler is what a dollar. Blah. Blah. It's probably Tatiova in case we open a Hinterland Harbor or a way to splash it, but it's also probably just Devonth Trapper or Tallow Candle. <sighs> Strongest common in the set? Um, I think Academy Journey Mage is up there. Yeah, I'm going to take this. I think it's... I Like, we don't have any historic cards for this. It's just a 3-2 three, for 3. Candle's fine, but I think that... This is so much stronger than Candle that if we do happen to have... If we do happen to have a way to get this online, I think we're just in really... Oh, a Baird. That's nice. Clifftop Retreat. Okay, so we've seen Isolated Chapel and Clifftop Retreat. So, that's... Oh, I almost took this guy. I meant Baird. Oh, this guy's good. All right, now we're now we're getting some good stuff here. These packs are pretty strong. We got an Arvad too. I think I missed earlier when we'd be fixing. <laughs> oh boy. I'm just gonna take the Arvad. Now I wish we had the the other thing. Now nah, I'll take the Blood Tallow Candle. Candle gets played 100 percent This doesn't even I enjoy it when I think I'll take a card and Frank takes it. Nice. Me too. I enjoy our, our card taking moments together as well. Like, we 100% play Candle. Relax there, big guy. Watch. Wait, buddy. Hey, buddy. Listen, I wasn't getting that excited. How dare you? Um, We're just going to take this compass. I don't care about Partic Wand or Wand. We don't have enough unit. We don't have enough uh, wizards to make that good what if this is a unicorn wizard then i could be like oh it deals two that's great i'm gonna take compass 
I'm a I'm a surprising Compass fan. Is it like that in Lady and the Tramp where they each try to eat the same? It's probably the same thing, yeah. I imagine that's close. Cracker 2000, are you lagging a bit? Because that Arvad pick was like four picks ago, buddy. I don't have to take fixing for the bomber opening the last pack because it's either going to be a Teferi, a Karn, a Lyra, or History of Benalia, and all of them fit pretty well into our deck, so... It is also going to be foil, which is pretty sweet. So, you know, we got that going for us. I didn't take the compass over the Arvad. Jousting Lance is pretty useful here or we can just take the grow from the ashes be main green blue and splash these you no, that's terrible taking jousting lance especially on unicorn is pretty gas i want to take this memorial of glory i don't care about relic runner in this deck we have very few historic cards sage of latinam same principle applies oh, unwind oh trapper came back that's great this is ambitious just putting it in the four spot just in case yeah, I'm lagging. If I wasn't, you'd be winning this draft. Wow. Spoken like a true draft boy, my friend. Are you guys ready for the full Karn? I just want you I guys want you guys to be ready. I like this guy a lot. And by a lot, I mean he okay. Where am I called the Calvary's at? Both of these are pretty mediocre. Oh, I'll take a charge. Tragic Poet, sure. I actually would be considering playing this just to make our Academy Journey Mage just cost four instead. I don't actually hate that. All right, you guys ready? Nah, eh, you're actually pretty good. Nah, you're not. Okay, it was a Lich's Mastery, guys. I was just kidding. JK, Lich's Mastery. Basically the same thing. I've only opened about 40 of these, so it's it's totally fine. Let's just take Raph Capuchin. I mean, Raph is still good, but... See, Lich's Mastery. Oh! Oh my god! Because in my face, right, Magic Online? Thanks, buddy. Amazing. Actually amazing. Yeah, I had to pay 45s for Karns. It was pretty miserable. Oh, time... Oh, another Oath of Teferi. This is just a who's who draft of uh, all, the, all the, the same rares that Frank opens in every single draft. So far, we have the double, uh, the double Lich's Mastery followed by an Oath of Teferi. We're going to take Time of Ice here. Mace the Unicorn number three. I'm just going to gain all the life in the world. Again, why aren't you a wizard? I don't know. Let's figure it out. All right, we can have one snappy. Now you're a wizard. Any draft where Frank gives a speech is a good pick. <laughs> Glad you appreciate those. This guy's definitely on the menu with triple Arc Arc Academy Journey Mage. It's mediocre AF, but... Hey, there's a Call of the Cavalry. Also a Deep Freeze. We don't have a ton of removal is the problem. And uh, we do have a ton of 4-drops. This card is still better, right? What's our removal? We have Blessed Light, 
We can bounce a bunch of things and counter them. Yeah, Courser's X. I'm just going to take the Courser. I actually like that. Is we don't have a ton of removal and understatement? Like, we have this? Like, I, th I still think of Syncopates as removal. Like, I also think of Bouncing as removal in a tempo format like this. Um, like, these are all ways to deal with creatures. That doesn't seem like... It doesn't seem like that much of an understatement. I want an Invoke. I'll even play it in the main deck for you. I'll just take this Dread Shade because that's a cool card. Uh, Lich's Master came back. I bet, I bet they both come back. I'll take the Unwind for the signboard. Here we go. Lich's Master number two. You ready? Oh, I definitely call. I definitely call. In a tempo deck like this, I definitely call Lich's Master or Academy Journey Mage tempo or uh, uh, removal. Like, I'm putting a 3 2 on the board. You're going to have to replay your best guy while I'm attacking you for four in the air. You only got to do that so many times. Don't care about any of these cards. Yeah, this deck looks fine. I'm, I'm actually okay with this deck. Oh, oh, the Tefri came back. Cool. You know, like you do. Hey, Kamal's Druidic Vow. How many legendary, legendary rares can we open that aren't any good? Like 10? Okay. I also like Jousting Lance on Unicorn. And Jousting Lance on Journey Mage. 5-2. Deal. I wish it didn't cost 3 to equip. That's a lot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this deck is actually just made. Yeah, we're not adding any of these cards. Make sure we don't have anything in here that we don't want. No, I think we're fine. 8-8 eight, eight seems fine... Actually, not. Yeah, I want another blue. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. All right, once I get a full standard Lich's Master deck, I'm going to scrape some pennies together. For yeah, let's do it. You got to call the deck. I'm a Lich. I'm a lover. I'm a child. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a sinner. I'm a saint. That's a good, yeah, that's a good jam. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, 100%. I feel like I know who this is. Who's Brutality? Why is this so familiar? Yo, where my, where my, where my unicorns at? Where my unicorns at? Show me my unicorns.
Get him. Oh, I found my unicorn. I just want to be your unicorn. I don't want to bounce this guy, but I guess it's fine. Five, five mana is five mana, right? I can be your unicorn, baby. Dang. So if we attack, they go block here, block here, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is still this is still aggressive enough for me to for me to do, and then we can make two guys at the end of the turn if they don't do anything we care about. All right, we did it. We did it. <clears throat> uh, I don't think we saw anything that we really care about. We literally saw two spells, I think. We saw like Arcanist and cloud reader sphinx so i'm gonna submit like this i assume they have spells but <laughs> no one ever has spells. Uh, I'm mostly into like I'm actually mostly into like chamber pop. <laughs> That's really funny to say. Some of my favorite bands are uh, Jawbreaker, The National, um, Bleachers. I should have mulliganed this hand, but I was busy talking to you. So now we're in trouble unless we draw all lands. Are you ready? All lands. Okay. See, it worked. You just have to say all lands at the beginning of every turn. Ready? All lands. I don't know. It's tried and true. I'm 100% right now, so what could possibly go wrong? Oh, I actually don't really like the Arctic Monkeys that much, funny enough. Okay. I'll call your bluff. I didn't say it this turn, but it still happens, so everybody wins.
I hate my deck playing stupid Voltaic Servant. <laughs> oh, that's rude. That guy's a hard worker, man. God, look at all these lands, guys. Oh, wow. I was surprised that guy resolved. All right. This seems like it's working out pretty well. I'm okay with everything that's happening right now. Guys, remind me to get a drink refill after this round. It's even better when they put both on top because then you're like, well, you barely get a night. You, you don't even get a second scry, really. Oh, puts both cards on top. That's exactly... That's exactly what we thought was going to happen. Hydrobot, how does this work? <laughs> oh, Lord, we have a good time. Wah. Anything for my princess? <laughs> oh, crying out loud, dude. Oh, hi, Mark. Good times, good times. Hmm. Invoke and Unicron. I want to put the Invoke on the top. That seems like a versatile little tool to my, my arsenal. And we can play Trapper and Invoke or Scholar and Invoke. Summon Hydrobot and Summon Hydrobot. <laughs> oh my god, we kept the Invoke on top and then a Juggernaut comes down? Deal. Is, is this Adam your chick? No, I think Adam Yurchik is condescend. God, I, I'm fucking racking my brain at who brutality is, but I don't want to. I don't want to be like, who are you? They put the sword on the juggernaut and drink the bowl. Of the wow, that's just rude. That's painful. That hurts my inner soul area. Hmm. Got that block in. All right. Well, that's rude. I thought we was friends.
Didn't even block the 1-3? What's happening right now? I didn't get it. I will block you. I'm also going to pay three to exile this land. One, two, three. Because if we hit another land, we can play Sanctum Spirit. Otherwise, we just draw a creature. So, or, I mean, that's not actually true. I don't know. That's not necessarily... We don't necessarily otherwise draw a creature. Discard your hand. Whoa. What is happening, man? Brutality is on my magic buddy list. So, I, I definitely know them. Yeah, okay. You put the lime in the coconut and drink the bowl up. I'll trade for a wizard. Just to prove, this is actually our first draft, so I cannot say. We are up a game, though. The value is real. I won't ask them, but I actually don't think they're... They're not, like, going to watch YouTube videos. They're not going to watch the YouTube video. This seems good with a jousting lance, right? I don't know. Okay. Not going to watch YouTube. What's wrong with you people? Why are you being weird? This is a red source. Deals two plus damage. Sure. They have two cards still? That's a lot. That's more than I'd like. This guy's real big. You can eat this. <laughs> That's fine. Oh my god, this is so many little nerds. This thing's not even online.
<laughs> oh. This is where they just block with everything and we get to like three for one them. Steal five. All right. I accept. I actually like that a lot because now uh, you might not be able to do anything else this turn. Where my journey mage is at. I would like to exile them, please. <laughs> well, you have one less now. That's pretty good. I'll deal with this. I'll trade your Cyclops for a journey mage. That's fine. How many lands have we exiled? Four? It's pretty okay, I guess. It's better than not bad, I guess. So. Okay. Okay, another five. This card's going to go the distance, unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess. And we can play this guy and... Uh... Yeah, I think we're way, f we're way far ahead. Each land exiled is kind of like a card we drew. Yeah, it's like basically drawing a second card. That's pretty strong. Uh, watch me whip. Oh, that's annoying. They can syncopate for two, but not three. We only had syncopate for two. We had three mana. We could pay two syncopate. They had two mana up. We didn't have syncopate. I already I already counted for this guy. No, they still had two mana. They could pay two. We had Vidalkin, Memorial, and Island up. Last turn during upkeep, we paid three. We had one less land, so we had one, two, three, four lands to work with. Two of them were used to play a unicorn. So we had two lands up. We had this one and this one. And this. That's three mana. We get to syncopate for X equal two. They had two lands. 
<clears throat> okay, just making sure we're clear. No blocks. Oh, if it isn't butts and stuff. <laughs> I know you agreed at first, which is funny. You're like, one man is short. And then I'm like, yeah, we were one man. And then you're like, oh, we had the single bait. And I'm like, no, no. No, no. They just make two guys here. That doesn't seem very good at all. Like they have three blockers. We have four attackers. One of the one of them is going to have a, a sword on him. Uh, we'll actually draw the land here. Every one of our creatures is is lethal against these, so. Yeah, Sanctum Spirit, Sanctum Spirit was a beating with the Lance on it. Lance is like, with First Strike, is just insane. So I think a block, block, block. Seems bad. And they have one card, so we have to assume it's, it can't be great, right? It can't be an instant, right? Like, they're just in top deck mode. Oof. Yeah, gotta kill the one. Gotta kill the 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 two four here. They are at one. We have three dudes on the board, so they can't attack anymore. We could play candle, kill their cloud reader sphinx. We can sink for four, which means if they play anything. For six, it's not that great. Now they can play anything for five. I don't think they're going to, though. They're probably just going to pass. Well, we're not going to attack here. I will keep up my candle up. I will keep up my candle up. Why don't we win there? They have 
two cards in hand. Like, we kill this guy. <laughs> oh. Like, if we kill this guy and they have anything, we just... It's not great for us. All right. I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you in a second. I think I should go start burgers. I don't even know what that means. Oh, buddy boy. The pipes, the pipes. That's actually, that's Danny boy, not buddy boy. That's not how that song goes at all. I was going to do something, I forgot what it was. Oh, I just had to update on the on the lawn status. All right, let's hop in the old. Oh God, this Mountain Dew just Got a little, got a little rowdy here. I'm playing Magic the Gathering, drinking Mountain Dew. Oh, this hand is where you want to be. 
unicorn into jousting lance and to equip that dude I think I should start burgles I'm a squirrel monger I said burgles and that's funny I'll just leave it Ooh. We're gonna we're comboing off here, boys. If there are if there are women as you say they say chicks in it? I want to do them. If you guys haven't you guys don't know what it is, what is that? Uh who is that? It's a it's an old it's called like Magic Missile. It's an old like D D parody skit. I cast magic missile at the darkness. Oh, we got the compass tech. I'm impressed. That was rude. You're being very rude. Ooh. Time walk you. How do you deal with my unicorn? Now the question is, if we hit a land, do we play this or is it still could we play this 100%? Burp, 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 burp. Unicorns all day. Get in there, unicorn. Show them how beautiful you can be. I'm gonna play a Pardic Wanderer. I don't care about your Pardic Wanderer when I got my unicorn. Me and my unicorn. Unicorn is the best two drop in any limited set ever. Fight me. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't have any wizards, man. Come on. Where are my wizards at? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Gustwalker is probably better. Unicorn's very good, though. I don't know. Lifelink is real good. If Unicorn is so good, wouldn't Bishop of the whatever from Ixalan be also one of the best two drops ever? Hmm. Hmm. They have two cards in hand? Alright, that's pretty good. Although they can pump their whole team. That's... Less good. They're going to do that right now, I guess. That's really sad because now this is out of the range of this. I'm not having any fun right now. <laughs> God, we can't even tap this down because of the stupid hexproof. This is not a. What? Why is this a card? Good lord. They're going to do it twice? Come on. You're doing so good. If we play Baird... See, the problem is if the next card was a land anyway, 
Uh, then we're just going to draw it next turn, and we can't do what we wanted to do this turn anyway. So this way, if they want to attack with both these guys, they have to pay two and might not be able to. Actually, they can still do everything they want. They have eight million mana. Well, that's stupid. I think you're stupid. Yeah, this is all fine. We're going to take a bad hit here. But we do get to kill you next turn. And then kill this guy the turn afterwards. So This game is still very much on. Game on! I have a unicorn. Actually, I have two unicorns. All my hard work dealing you four damage a turn is gone. I don't care about that little nerd. I also wanted to draw this land so we can play you for five. I wish we could do both. Drudge Sentinel is surprisingly good against this. They just give it indestructible. And then nothing happens. What a sad day. Do unicorns wear uniforms or are they at war? Over the similarity in what they're called. Um, I don't know. Oh, I knew you had that guy. <laughs> That's no surprise to us. Do you know about my blood tallow candle? Can I tell you about it? Invoke on top. Oh, dang it. God, they still have three mana for the stupid thing. Oh, boy. I'm just going to try to kill this guy now. If they have a trick... Uh, like, I'd rather them use it now on their turn, not on my turn. They did not have lay trick. We're going to mill this because... My creature's having two toughness here is pretty bad. I wanted to attack with Baird, but then they just block and make it indestructible. If I attack with this guy and Baird, they just block and kill it. You scared the absolute dickens out of me? I was going through my standard stuff listening. When? What did I do? I haven't changed anything, right?
There's a shawarma place about two blocks from here. I thought you were making burgers. What's going on here? I spoke? I've been talking this whole time, haven't I? You spoke. Oh, kick that. Kick it! Let's see if you got a secret fifth color. A fourth color. No, okay. Just You're just Abzan. You were louder than the music. Yeah, that's what my mom always used to tell me. Uh, you're louder than the music, you know. She never used to say that. Bye, bye, little Sebastian. Oh, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good one on the top. Okay, now they don't have mana to regenerate this guy, so we're just going to get in there with this this old Unicron. Oh, there we go. Swing that life swing that life pendulum back our way. I'm going to play a million. Raph actually taps something down. Which is pretty good. It blocks your Aven Sentry. It's an aggressive attack. No blocks. This guy's surprisingly obnoxious against us. Oh my god. That's like the worst card you could have drawn there. This is the worst card we could have had on top. Everything's everything's even, right? Brian, I have not gotten a chance to check out your deck. Actually, let me download it right now. You put it in a weird... I couldn't actually look at the deck because you put it in like a Magic Online file. So I had to actually be on Magic Online to to open it so i was like oh i haven't i can't look at this right here all right so i have it i have it downloaded now so i'll take a look at it after this um i don't actually care about talarian scholar but i also kind of just want to keep raf up but i think it's probably just better to play flyer right now then they just kill it nah. actually we play raf and then we attack for a million right Yeah, it seems better. They have two blocks that I don't really care about. Sure. Because if they actually kill, like, Unicorn or something, they can't actually also kill Raft. So they're probably going to save Raft. Probably going to block 3-2 and 3-2. You can do cast Raf and exile the scholar. That's good English, David. I uh, I appreciate your syntax there. You can do cast Raf. Just five thousand Rafs in the wind. Oh, no kills. My only problem with that is hoping that the scholar is not is not better than whatever is is next. Thanks, I'm totally wide awake. <laughs> oh my god. I forgive you. Oh, and Urza's Tome with no cards in hand, huh? Alright. Oh, but you do have you have like four things to exile here. No, three. Oh, that's that's great. That's gas. Oh, that's a that's a better one. I'll keep that guy. Just five thousand candles in the wind. Uh, bottom and top. Look how long this is now! Holy God, Magic Online, get your life together. Look how look how tall it's a tall boy now. I have no reason to attack you here. But next turn, though. Mm -mm. Yep. Keep drawing them cards. If 
I like the strategy of like not not exiling when you just want to discard it. Oh, that's really good actually, because we can just play that from the tippity top. Boom, 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 boom. These are all the creatures that I'm attacking you with. The only profitable block you have is here. I think we're in good shape, but it's hard to say. Man, I even sent you for Mace Unicorn. Why, why, why? All right, keep on trucking. It's five, six, seven. You have ten mana, so we can sync up anything that costs eight. That is not it. I would have probably tomed first, but. What do I know? Yeah, this game has been epic, man. We can syncopate Slinvada. You are correct. Especially if they kick it. And we win the game. Okay, so what did we see? Final parting of Eviscerate on Sarah's wings. Partic Wander. If we had another invoke in the sideboard, I'd definitely bring it in. As such, though, I'm pretty sure we just bring in Unwind. I like 41 here. I like 41 a lot. Old Drudgy's pretty obnoxious. Not gonna lie. I don't think we did draw that great. We drew a bunch of dirtly creatures. Like we, I think we drew one Academy Journey Mage, maybe two. We never we haven't drawn our time of ice yet. We didn't we invoke would have been great in that game. Maybe we drew fine. All things considered. Platter man, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I feel like I've been at 281 subs for like the past three and a half weeks because they keep going up and down. Mulligan the one lander. I'll keep this and and I'll begrudgingly keep this hand. Now, a Scholar is a necessary evil in this deck because it lets us cast uh, our three Journey Mages on turn four, which is pretty good. Do they let us play first? Interesting. Island. You're not an island. Island, island would be good here. Okay, well. That's. I feel like the cheer gift is a strong incentive not to cheer. Oh, that's. I don't feel like that's been true at all. That's unfortunate. You feel that way. <laughs> oh, it's definitely disturbing. But that's the that's that's the joke. Oh, I see. You're going to do this job again. This is aggressive. <sighs> oh, crying out loud.
That's amazing. I love that it's legendary. That's great. I'll take three and go to ten. Still got a game. That's a big old dude. I guess we can't draw land, so we'll just go to the next game because this is more than we can deal with, unfortunately, with no lands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's real sad. I will play first. I will keep any hand with a unicorn in it. Very aggressive. Here comes Sap Herd. Walrus horse? <laughs> what does that even mean? Are we going to do it again? Put it on this guy? Oh, just mono sap herd dot deck. Sure. <sighs> Come on. We're syncopating this because syncopate just gets worse once they actually resolve a Grow from the Ashes. Why are we playing Scholar? Because we have three Journey Mages, because we want to be able to cast them on four. And Scholar is actually not terrible in a format full of two twos. It's not great, but it's a necessary evil. Oh, aggressive. All right, they have one card in hand. I feel like our unicorn could potentially take over here. Or we can play that. It was a very good year for unicorns with lances. And then they died because our opponent didn't like having fun. Oh, for crying out loud. Not this old chestnut again. Good lord. Well, they're one land short of actually equipping the Black Blade, which is pretty insane. And they have one card, so if it's a land, that's the only thing you can do. If it's a spell, great. I'm pretty sure the song is called When, I'm, when I Was 17, right? By Frank Sinatra. Actually, it's just called it was a very good year. Okay. Oh, that's rude. You just top just just casual top deck eviscerate, I guess. Why aren't you chump blocking? God, 
God, I really wish we had the stupid courser, though. Yeah, you did it. That was an amazing draw. Oh, goosh. I feel like this, this game just ended. Invoke, I gain four. I gain another four. I kill your Black Blade. I kill your Avon Sentry. Oh, God, what a bloodbath. That draw felt... They do get to exile this, so it's basically like drawing a card. I'm going to be at 37, okay? We good? Okay. I don't know why they have been chump blocking, though. Like, I mean, I guess they're fine at 11. Like, 11's not super low, but... Aren't there three kind of horse variations? Well, there's four, right? There's there's regular horse. There's a horse with a horn. There's a horse with wings. And there's a horse with a man body, which is a centaur. Just so many unicorns. How much life can we gain this match? They gotta throw three guys in front here, and if they do, I mean, like, I'm gonna kill them thing. Oh, fuck. Oh, BBQ at the wedding? Let's do that. I think we actually just let this guy die. Uh, we can kill the two sap herds. And then just play another unicorn. Nay, you can never stop the unicorns. They're too beautiful for this world. I'm sorry, they're too beautiful for this world. You're not able to remove them. Thank you. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, really appreciate it. B. Aggressive. B. B. Aggressive. I'm going to go to 45. Casual 45. Seems good. I mean, they're able to, they're able to filter every single turn, so it's, it's not bad. They're drawing two cards a turn, essentially. I mean, we have two onboard removal spells. Or one on board. Two removal spells. One happens to be on board. Can't see using that yet. Go to three. All right. Like, end of turn, we can kill a guy. Journey Mage, bounce a guy. Like, we have a lot of options here. I mean, if they're if they're digging for Sarah's uh, on Sarah's wings, it's weird because they have Blood Tattle Candle on board, so it feels pretty unsafe to cast that. Unless maybe they hope I forget. All right, well that's uh, that'll do. That'll do, pig. 
Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. So apparently you draft the, uh, the old blue-white deck and you do you do well. God, I like this hand a lot. If we just draw one planes, I think we can do it on the draw. How about planes into... How about memorial for glory to glory into unicorn? That's a two drop. I'm okay with it. Is this a wizard equipment? Dang it. We don't control a wizard. That was I dubs. Hey, that's pretty good. I dupe, otherwise known as I dupes. All right, planes off the. Off the, actually, how about Talarian, Talarian Scholar into planes? Oh, all right, I'll take the planes. Now our whole deck just came alive. Oh, what up, Quende? Coldwater Snapper is good against Quende, I hear. Jinkies. I guess we just casually take eight here. I would go offering? I don't know what that means. I don't even know what you're saying right now. Oh, pick. Okay, I missed the previous comment. I was like, we don't have that card. We can't make that choice, buddy. I guess we could have waited to play that, but I don't care. I don't care. I do like Time of Ice. Yeah, I'm not reading chat. You caught me. You caught me, Palatero man. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? You're not reading chat. Got him. Dang it, I can't play you and anything else in my hand. Unfortunately, we are just going to play this now because I want to be able to attack, so. There's no point of attacking with Journey Mage because then they just attack with Arvad and let me just take two. Or we, we, we take three and they gain their three back, so. Whereas if they attack with Arvad, I'll easily block with Journey Mage, so everybody wins, except for him, and then we win, and that's 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 preferable. Yeah, we're attacking now because if they wanted to attack back, then Time of Ice just bounces it and it's just worse. Yeah, this is a fine trade. A 
la 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 Yeah, that's fine. I don't know what that does. Wow, that was a good deal. Whoo, boy. <laughs> The old adamant will shame scoop. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. Yeah, that was good. I'm a fan. Um, that does not work the way you think it works, sir. Hmm. Uh, I don't think we want anything here. The only thing we saw was adamant will, so I think we're good. We do have two syncopates, so I don't think we need to unwind as well in this matchup. I... I'm going to keep this hand. If we draw a white, it's good. We're on the draw. The old classic Mesa Unicorn into Jousting Lance. And we still have several plays without a planes. We got three turns to draw planes. Planes would be great here because then we can go Unicorn into Trapper into Lance. Or not. Really? Trapper was the pick there? Look at that little cutie. Can I get a planes one time? Oh, God, Magic, I love you. Sometimes you're too good to me. Other times... You're not. Don't kill my unicorn, I'm asking you nicely. Well, that's a Quindy. Do we just trade with Quindy? That's probably fine. Thank you. Pacavan, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. All right, lands, that's enough. And we're actually going to play Candle here because our 5 drop is going to be Academy a Journey Mage and our 6 drop is going to be Activating Candle, presumably. So, Oh, I love that you didn't do this. I mean, I assume you just have Arvad, but whatever. Whatever. What the can you do? Yeah, I'll take six. I gained four. <laughs> What's six life among friends, you know? All right, when I said I wanted planes, this is not what I meant. Why? Thank you. That's actually fine because we have invoked. Stupid Jawa, welcome. 32 months in a row, bro. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. If three cards, one of them is a Quende. Ideally, another one is a land. Don't adamant will. That would, that would be sad. No one wins there if you adamant will that guy. Why? 
One, two, three, four, five to four, five, six, seven, eight. We have drawn a significant amount of lands, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, here we go. Yeah, that's fine. I, I, I like that better than you having Quende on board. Quende I couldn't even trade with. Whereas I just put a Lance on this guy and it's better. This is just perfect. Good lord. So, you know, business as usual. Casual uh, eight lands drawn. Now we're now we're doing it. Now we're living the dream. Like if we draw an answer to Arvad and that's their only the only thing they have. Okay, that's a good. Because now they can just chump block. That's decent. That just gives them so many turns, unfortunately. So they block here, block here. Sure. I wonder if we move this over. Seems good. So now you have Arvad. All right, seems good. The super glider, man. It's giving us the business here. That's actually a reasonable draw. We take six on the crackback? I don't love that. <clears throat> This game is significantly closer than I'd like. So they go to seven. I'm going to trade with the Arvad. They're going to go to seven either way, but... I mean, that assumes they don't have anything. Oh. Oh. We go to four, they block. We go to two, they don't die. Dude, this glider has done all 20 points this game. Oh my God. Two, three, four. So we put them in a position where they have to block. Mm. 
They just have to block here. And like, if they don't hit a creature, they're dead. So they literally have to have a dude. Because one removal spell is not going to do it. So no dude, and if we don't draw a removal spell, that's what has to happen. I guess they can have Adamant Will in hand. Okay, we go to two. Okay, we make two guys. Okay, we draw Baird. Oh, just win the match. All right, I figured that was going to happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That was a good... That's how, that's how the blue-white deck does it, apparently. And uh, if you guys haven't done so, smash those like and subscribe buttons. It really helps out the channel. And check out my Patreon or my Twitch stream. They are both in the description below. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. I'll see you guys next time.